Uh, thank you, Dr. Didar, <clears throat> respected chairpersons, and esteemed audience. Uh, two months back, I joined a two-day workshop on hospital management at Chandigarh. And whatever literature I collected from there, I went through this and uh, tried to explore the scope of this subject, that is hospital management in relation to our experts, that is practicing medicine experts. So whatever I could understand or could conclude, I will uh, share it in my last uh, slide in this presentation. And secondly, let us be very clear, I, am, I want to be clear that I am not the master of this subject. Since I uh, joined this training and got the literature and uh, thought of how we can, as experts, as experts, can utilize this subject or expertise of hospital management in the interest of the hospital or our institutes. Now, before I go, uh, go through the actual uh, subject matter, we are brief about uh, what is a hospital background. Hospital definition, definition by WHO expert committee, in 1956, uh, hospital is an integral part of the social and medical organization, the function of which is to provide for the population complete health care, both curative and preventive, and whose outpatient services reach out to the family in its home environment. Another definition by WHO expert in 1963, Hospital is a residential establishment which provides short-term and long-term medical care consisting of observational, diagnostic, therapeutic, and rehabilitative services for persons suffering or suspected to be suffering from a disease or injury. Hospital, now uh, for the first time since I joined my MBBS in 1981, I read this definition of what is a hospital. From where this word has derived, was derived. The word hospital has got its origin from Latin word hospice, which means guest. A place where guest is accommodated is called hospital. This is what explains the literature. This meaning of the hospital suggests that patient comes to hospital like guest for some days and after getting cured goes back. While in hospital, he should be treated with dignity and honor, which we gave to our guests. So after CPA, I don't think this definition fits uh, for a patient. Now we are, now the patient is labeled as consumer who understands. In Indian culture, guest is supposed to be God, which means patient should be treated not only as a diseased person, but as a guest or moreover as a God. Now regarding a hospital as an organization, Hospital is a complex organization where men of different strata, education, philosophy, skill, and experience work in different ways to achieve the same goal of patient care. Functions of hospital, we know patient care, education, training of our doctors, nurses, paramedical staff, prevention of diseases, health promotion, research, health education to community and rehabilitation. Now, there is a, a hospital management. There is change in role from medical and clinical assistance to healthcare with concern for people who need it. Scope of services now includes healthcare guidance, preventive care, post clinical attention care, and evidence. This is basically the background what you want to cover. I want to cover. Like any other business, the management of hospitals has changed from an art to a science and now a technology. It is uh, now a high risk business. The risk spreads from business risk to survival of a patient. Now, medical legal issues uh, in forensic medicine perspective, the issues which pertain to us, which, which we are dealing with in our day to day service and duties, and which we are teaching to our students. Uh, this is our, our area, area of forensic medicine, medical legal examination, post medical examination, law and duties, medical practice. Duties and rights we teach to our students, examination, consent, etc. We teach to our students cases pertaining to police and evidence as expert witness, as certification, medical report. 
the hospital manager, apart from these medical, the direct medical legal issues concerning the hospital or uh, medical legal services, the other issues, the major issues which uh, uh, pertain to the management part in a hospital uh, and which uh, directly or indirectly may be potential cause of litigations or medical legal aspects in relation to deficiency in service, negligent service, or hospital mishaps during treatment. So I will like to briefly uh, touch these issues. First of all, of course, uh, financial issues and government setup, lack of funding of infrastructure, lack of facilities to medical staff and patients in private or utilization of resources to maximize profits and low staffing levels. So this, is, this is a situation which may affect uh, patient care and uh, leading to litigations. And financial issues are that's system controlled by companies, insurance companies, reimbursement by insurance companies. Uh, uh, I will not like to go for the explanation part being shortage of time, low level of staffing and inflated price of care, patient care, both in clinical and operational setup, uh, selection of wrong patients or wrong site of surgery, high infection rate, misidentification of patient, medication errors or sexual abuse, patient neglect, radiation safety, lack of communication, disruptive or abusive behavior among care providers, Patient satisfaction, another issue, well-being of patients is must using length of stay, prevention of readmission. Then hospital safety, violence, infant abductions, patient wandering, theft of drugs and other assets. Fire safety, causes include chemicals, medical causes, gases, liquid and aesthetic agents, parking from pottery or other equipment leading to damage to the patient or patient care affecting patient care, electricity, uh, electrical safety, short circuits, electrical shock, fire, disturbances in cold chain maintenance, et cetera, mechanical safety, accidents in lift, failure of pottery machine and OT, failure of suction machine, certain detachment of wheels of stature trolley, mechanical breakdown of hospital vehicle, detachment of bed railings, leading to physical harm to the patients. Hospital safety, biological safety, and radiological safety, of course. Regulatory standards, non compliance can lead to disruptions, poor quality of care, safety issues, and substantial fines, and meeting legal and ethical standards. Protection of rights of patients in India. Unlike in many other countries, the rights of patients have not yet been spelled out in a legal form. Even the level of awareness among public as well as healthcare professionals is low. However, the fundamental rights enshrined in the Constitution and certain laws enacted from time to time have spelled out the obligations of the healthcare providers towards patients and have indirectly conferred certain rights onto the patients. In the research, uh, research part, hospitals carrying out any biomedical research or experimentation on the human subjects are obliged to ensure total protection of the rights of the research subject as stipulated in the ICMR guidelines. Similarly, mercy killing, euthanasia, we had prenatal sex determination, female feticide, theft of human organs. So these are another situations or field where there is a uh, involvement of patients for litigations, medical termination of pregnancy, quality management, improving outcome is one of the major objects of the health system as per WHO report. For this service delivery or service provision and responsiveness of the system to people expectations are critical determinants. Hospital manager's duty to protect the rights of the patient and the family and staff should be aware for protection of patient rights, respect, dignity, and consideration, privacy, and confidentiality. The refusal of treatment is another issue. Discuss treatment and care plan with patient and family. Easy to understand information about treatment, risk, and other choices. Social, cultural, and spiritual beliefs, standard and visitor policy. Second opinion, complaint and feedback, access to medical record, expected costs, financial implication, 
in case change of treatment plan and protocol awareness on their own responsibility now how i would understand and summarize pressing medicine experts can better contribute in hospital management from their expertise and confidence level in dealing with medical issues in day to day hospital practice pressing expert trained in hospital management has better chances of service career and placements hospital management should be included in the forensic medicine curriculum at ug and pg level thank you very much